Emile had what the French would call joie de vivre, a zest for life. He would aptly be described by countless people as the most unforgettable character they ever met. For a man who held no public office, no rank in civic organizations, and a modest status job as a real estate broker, his circle of friends literally extended to hundreds of people. He was a presence wherever he went, but never an ostentatious one. He was hardly ever the center of attention, nor did he crave it. He simply had a remarkable way of making everyone in the room with him feel special. Even the proverbial wallflower, with whom he always spent extra time. He was so full of life, it was contagious, even bothersome at times. At a family cottage on the lake, he would never let the sun go down without an audience. No matter what people were doing at the time, usually sitting down for dinner or playing cards, he would roust everyone forcibly if necessary and herd us outside to watch the sun sink majestically into the lake. In spite of our protests, we would all take a moment to stare at it in silent and rapt attention. When it was over, Emil would give us permission to go back and continue whatever we were doing. When he died of a heart attack just before Christmas, he left a gaping hole in many lives. We all knew that someone very special was irretrievably lost to us. Or was he? Early the following summer, a group of us were gathered at the family cottage once again. We were all busily involved in whatever we were doing when someone looked out the window and said, Look, everybody, it's an Emil sunset. Without even being summoned, we all dropped what we were doing and went outside to watch the blazing sun go down. No one spoke. At that moment, we all knew that Emil was actually there with us. He was present to us because he had left us the sunset as a sacrament and we all knew it and felt it. John or Aurelio, Returnings, Life After Death Experiences.